a woman sent me this video of how a bed a dying a two weeks bed are dying drastically so due to this i want to ensure that i make a video so that you all can be aware of the type of disease that is killing most beds in the farm right now so on behalf of this video this woman sent i will do a video for you hello to your fans. so based on the video you just watched earlier you will notice that there is a lot we need to talk about and that is the reason why I am here to do this video for you. This video is all about how you can reduce mortality in your farm, especially those baby chickens. As I said before, there are so, there are so many people that do come to me and do complain of how they do lost bed regularly. So that is the reason why I am here and you know fully well now that a bed now is now up to 800 now. I'm talking about boiler here in Nigeria. So that is the reason why I'm here to introduce this topic to you so that you will be able to understand the system of what I have taken and how did I do it to make sure that I have at least, if I'm weighing, let's say, 50 birds or 1,000 birds, at least my mortality should not pass 20, latest 15 mortalities, 15 mortalities. So that is how um, maybe, um, that is how that is what I want to introduce to you today and um, because of this topic I want you all to write down everything I mean everything I'm here to offer to you so what am I trying to say don't trust your brain all right don't trust your brain make sure that everything every bit of everything I'm about to tell you in this video because if you don't write it it might occur to you so you need to write every bit of everything I'm telling you today. Okay, now let's go for the first one. The first thing that you need to know is get the right breed. All right. In, in terms of if you want to go into poultry farming, you have to understand that I need to get the right breed. The right breed matters. And this right breed is not produced by us, we the farmers. It's actually produced by archways. And there are so many, over 1,000 of them here in Nigeria. And uh, it is it is it will be in your own benefit if you get the right breed. All right. I will not like to tell you the right breed or tell you the one that is not good that they actually produce. But what I can tell you is that if you need that information, you can just send me um, email to my to my email so that I can send you what the type of uh, you can send me a message so that i can tell you the type of breed that you need we have dry season we have rainy season and those seasons have its own type of breed that you need to buy all right you can't just say okay i want to go into poultry farming okay i just need a type of breed no it's very 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 wrong you have to get a specific breed based on the climate change based on the climate change. So please and please, the first thing you need to understand is the seed. Let me give you an example. Look at this plant. Look at this plant. Look at this plant. The thing this plant is able to, the, the reason why this plant was able to grow very well at this like this, it is because of the seed that is planted in the soil. So. I'm just using that plant to give you an example. For you to grow or for you to have a low mortality in your farm, you need to understand that you need to have what? A very good breed. Now, the second thing that you need to understand is the location. The location matters too. Because why did I say the location? If you if you settle down in a place where there are so many um pollution, if you settle down in a place where there are so many pollution, trust me you will have a very difficult problem because there are three things that cause the death of bears. One, climate pollution. Two, climate change and take water. Those three things, if they are not well in place, if those three things are not well in place, trust me, you will be occurring mortality, if possible, every day. Every day. So for you to be, for you to be at the safer side, you need to understand those three things and 
and how to, and how to, your um, how to uh, a, a proper place to facilitate your pain. So that is the thing I can offer you. And another thing, another thing you need to also understand. Okay, another thing you need to understand is the building room. The building room. What is a building room? A building room is a place where um, we enhance the we enhance the growth of every bird. All right. A building room is a place where we cater them at a very young age to make sure that they survive in a very long run depending on the type of bed you are buying. So that is what a building room is. Now, the thing, the, thing, well, the thing I'm about to tell you about the building room is that a building room is a place where you can, they will last from that they want to, that they want to the 21, depending on the type of bed. So as a farmer, you need to make sure that every medication that you're about to give them in that particular day must be very, very okay. All right. Make make sure that the building, the place you are about to build them is well vaccinated, um, disinfected. You need to give them regular water and making sure that that place is well hygiene. If those things, if those little, little things are not put in place, trust me, you will occur various type of mortality. So please and please, if you are not taking, if you are not taking your building room very serious, trust me, you will have a kind of problem in your farm. So please and please, as a farmer, you need to understand that my building room must be well vaccinated, and the beds, sorry, the beds need to be very, very vaccinated, and also, no, everything happen in the building room, and if you are not getting it right in the building room, trust me, you will have. A very high mortality but all I, all I have to tell you is I just make sure that your building room is well okay and the next thing is lighting now lighting is because they are little um little bells they need to eat constantly and what does that mean they need light um a bed of a day old bed eats at least 24 7 they have they must be food inside their feeders they must ensure that their feed doesn't finish until they get to up to three weeks. That is when you start, you know, doing some calculation based on the money you have with you. So aside that, aside that, they would eat regularly, regularly, twenty four seven. So and um, so they need lighting, and with that, um, lighting also help them to exercise themselves. All right. Once they once they are able to get lighting. Um, they will be walking around, flying around, eating, drinking water, and without all those things, we enhance their growth and also reduce mortality in the farm. So the next thing is feeding. All right, if you are into um, poultry farming, you know that um, feeding. I always say to my platform that feeding take over ninety percent and seventy percent of the total cost of production. So due to that, you have to find a way to minimize score just to for just for just for you to make sure that your profits boost. So in the aspect of feeding in um in day old chicks, their their feeding is always in March, a kind of crumbles, non yeah, March, in March, but it will be in form of small, small particles. So they will be eating it for if it is boiler. They will eat from day, um, from one week to, um, to fourteen weeks, all right. So that is you'll be giving them starter, all right. They will not be eating any other bread, but starter. So that starter contains a lot of protein, all right. That starter is what will sustain them to fourteen days, all right. Fourteen days. That is two weeks. So once they keep eating that starter, if I'm talking about boiler now, so once they start eating that um, starter, around the third week they'll start eating from four weeks to they, there's there's no much there's no much grow out, like all this noila cocoa and all those things. So after four weeks you start after they eat um they eat a bit grow out, then from five weeks you start giving them finisher, then six weeks you sell out the bus. So the feeding, like the feeding aspect of 
of the this thing. So let me now tell you the way it causes mortality in the farm. Once, once you notice that you are using poor formulation in the farm, it will cause mortality to the birds. Take note of that. It will cause mortality. If you are not using good, um, good formula for this for your birds, it will cause mortality for them. They won't grow well, they will have stunt growth, and eventually some will die. So the next thing I'm about to tell you, the next thing I will tell you is that you need to also understand biosecurity. Biosecurity is one of the things that most farmers ignore when they start um, doing their business. They will just say, okay, I'm a farmer and um, I believe that uh, God will help me, God will do everything for me. Yes, um, prayer is one of the things that we also need to consider. But at the same time, we also need to understand that we also need to lay some foundation to help, to, to help us sustain in the business. So what am I trying to say? You have to in, um, incur some biosecurity in the farm just to make sure that you are what stable in the business. And what, the, what are the biosecurity I'm talking about? By one, you need to disinfect the pen regularly. You need to disinfect the pen regularly. The second thing that you need to do is you need to change the water once you notice that it's dirty. Change the liters. Change the liter and um, vaccinate them regularly. One, vaccinate when it is due, not regularly. Vaccinate when it is due. So, and the next thing I also want to tell you about is liters. Okay. The assumption, the principle that follows liters is that um, the liter must, the lit, what, am I, what, am, what do I mean by liter? Liters are those things, those wood shavings that you apply around, um, around the, um, the, the um around the pond around the pain sorry around the pain so that those um those chickens can be comfortable at where they are so those litters are made of wood are the um, um the shaping of wood once you give they are they are there are two there are two type of it they, we have wood shaving and we have sawdust so but note note what in the aspect of brooding you have to use wood shaving not sawdust if you would, if you use wood shaving, it will affect them. It will cause what respiratory disease to them. So for you to be, for you to be at the safer side, please and please use wood shaving and also apply what cotton on top of it. Wood shaving will be on the ground, then um, cotton will be on top of it. With that, there will be less dust. There will be less dust. But if you put sawdust, only sawdust, those, chick those chicks will, will assume it is feed and they will start consuming those sawdust. And with that, they will start having some cough, sneezing, and all those kind of things. And with that, you start experiencing mortality in your farm. So if you are able to do all these things, I'm, I'm telling you right now, trust me, you will not have any type of mortality in your farm. All right? Thank you all for watching.